Once upon a time, a young monk approached his teacher, expressing, Master, I find it challenging to reside in this monastery. I wish to seek solace in a tranquil and serene abode elsewhere. The wise monk inquired, Why do you feel this way? What troubles you about our sanctuary? The student replied, Master, everyone here seems toxic to me, and it's affecting my well-being. Numerous monks here are deeply involved in politics, and some consistently speak negatively not only about me, but also about you and others, Master. Please allow me to reside in a serene and tranquil monastery, away from toxic influences. The Master Monk listened intently to his student and responded, Your request is heard. All right. My student, I will permit your departure. Before you go, I ask for one final favor, said the master. The student eagerly replied, of course, master, anything. Just tell me what I should do for you, the student inquired. The master monk took a spoonful of water and handed it to the student, instructing him to carry it around the monastery as a parting task. He brought the spoonful of water back to the monastery without spilling a single drop. The master monk added, if you can accomplish this, I will grant your wish to go to a peaceful monastery. With a strong desire to fulfill the task and attain entry into a peaceful monastery, the student monk carried the spoonful of water around the monastery, staying fully focused and managing not to spill a single drop. After a few hours, the student monk returned to the master with a joyful expression and exclaimed, Master, I did it. I successfully carried the spoonful of water all around the monastery. Without spilling a single drop, I have completed the task. Now, please keep your promise and allow me to go to a peaceful monastery, the student monk earnestly requested. The master monk smiled and replied, All right, my student, as promised, you are free to go. But before you leave, tell me one thing. While you were carrying the spoonful of water around the monastery, while you were carrying the spoonful of water around the monastery, did you hear any monks gossiping about you, me, or others? Did you catch wind of any negative conversations? The student monk replied, No. Master, I was fully focused on the spoon, and I didn't have any time to listen to all those noises. Just then, the master monk said, See, my student, if you are fully focused on your goal and your purpose, you won't have time to listen to all those other negative noises around you, the master monk emphasized. Remember, wherever you go in this world, you will encounter negative people around you. But if you stay fully focused on your goal and your larger purpose, all the other negative influences, the master monk continued, and all the other negative words that you hear are nothing but just noises. You shape your own life with your focus and purpose, the master monk concluded. No matter where you are and where you go, the more you focus on other people's behaviors, words, and lives, you will inevitably encounter toxic individuals, the master monk wisely added. You will always feel veering off your true path, your true goal. Just stay focused on yourself. That doesn't mean you should be selfish, the master monk advised. But stay focused on your goal, on your path, on your way. All those negative people, all this chit chat will just become noise. And you will be able to ignore all the negativity around you, the master monk emphasized. So don't be afraid to listen to yourself and concentrate on your own life. Ignore the negative people around you. Because even these negative individuals, the master monk continued, have a good side to them, which maybe you just can't see or can't hear. And if you think of running away, then just remember, wherever you run to, there are bad people, the master monk cautioned. And there are people who talk bad about you. You'll always come across people you don't like. If you are happy in one place, you will be happy everywhere. If you are unhappy in one place, the master monk explained, there is not a place in the world that can make you happy. Focus on your life, on yourself. 
The master monk concluded, emphasizing the importance of internal focus for true contentment. This is Story Spotlight. Thank you for watching God Bless You.